Hi everyone, I'm Apolonia Ponti, your love, dating, and relationship coach. I am a coach and expert in breaking free of codependencies and attracting unavailable partners, enhancing a current relationship that you already are in, and manifesting love into your life right now. In this video, I want to talk about when you're dating or in a relationship and a woman says that she needs space. Be sure that you stay tuned till the end of this video, men, because I have something very special that I've made for you. Now let's get started. You, you enchant me, even when you're not around. If there are boundaries, I will try to knock them down. I'm latching on them. The first thing is, when a woman says that she needs space, don't look at it as a bad thing because it's not a bad thing in general. It may be some time for you to reflect on you and yourself right now. And these are the ways that you're going to do it. Number two is give her the space. If she wants space, give her that space. Do not text her. Do not call her every minute. Just let her be. Let her text you. Let her call you let her initiate the contact with you if she's told you that she needs space because as a woman in our minds if we know a man is doing everything in his power to be with us it's a beautiful thing but when we get into a relationship or if we get involved with someone that we may be unsure that they're a fit for us or maybe we're suffering with something that's going on in our life right now you don't know but the biggest thing that you can do for a woman is when she says that she needs space is not call her, not text her, let her initiate. Because in a woman's mind, what happens in our mind is when we start initiating contact with a man at this point, I'm just talking about at this point, not in dating, it's not in any of that. But in this particular point, what happens in our mind is we see you as you're less available. And it draws a connection and it draws an attraction to us and to you because we start to think, okay, he's okay with being alone. He's okay without me. And we, if we have feelings for you, we're not okay with that. So it kind of switches her thinking. And that's exactly what you want to do. And you want to give her her space because if she's going through something personal, it's so important that you give her the space because eventually if this leads into a relationship or if you're in a relationship right now, you have to show her that you are able to give her that space and that time that she needs if you continue your relationship with her. Number three is plan things to do with yourself or with other people and really enjoy them. Make yourself busy during this time. Do something that you've been wanting to do with yourself, with friends or family, and just do it. If it is, if you live in Florida and you want to just do a quick trip to the Bahamas, do that. Do something that will entertain your mind of thinking of doing something that you enjoy instead of thinking of what is she doing? What is, why does she need space? Does she like me? Are we breaking up? All of these inside comments and this negative self-talk in your head is not going to do you any good. So that's why it's so important to keep busy. Number four, explore the relationship. Think about the relationship right now. Unless this is something like a family member just passed away or she's maybe having a health issue or um, there's something drastic going on in her life right now, explore the relationship because it's really important that you're with a partner that you can see a future with or you're dating someone that you can see a future with. So maybe where is it that you came up wrong? What were your shortcomings in this relationship that led you to this point that she needed space? This is the only way that you can dissect what it is that you truly either went wrong in a relationship and how you can overcome this or how you can truly support this person. And another thing is too, is if she's pushing you away 100% because she's going through something and she doesn't want you around, I mean, you want to think about how what is the conversation that you're going to have with her because life happens and if you get into a relationship or if you continue this relationship with this woman you want to be there with her through the hard times right so if it's 
one of these two scenarios, you want to really explore the relationship and how you're going to confront her the next time that you speak to her. Of course, you want to confront in a compassionate way, not in an argument of relationship way. I actually talk about how to communicate in a relationship, which I'm going to put up here right now. If you need help with in communicating, trying to get your point across when you explore the relationship and when you talk to her face to face. Number five, be confident and be happy. Yeah, you might have feelings for her. I'm sure you do. Not even a might. I know you do. But confidence is an attraction. And confidence is happiness. And people are attracted to that. And just because she's not with you doesn't mean that she's not going to see this because she sure will. You can post things on social media that you're maybe swimming and you're happy. You're out with friends being social. You want to be respectful, but you also want to show her that you're confident and you're happy no matter what with her in your life and without her in your life. Because women look for this in a man. We love a strong man that can hold his own at the end of the day. I made a video about what confidence looks like that I'm going to put up here for you if you need help in regards to confidence. Lastly, number six is setting the boundaries for space. You know, it kind of is the same as about exploring a relationship is setting the boundaries for space. You want to make sure that either she's not always asking for space. If she's always asking for space, then you want to explore something within yourself. Are you being too available for her? Are you being too needy? Are you wanting to spend every waking minute with her? I don't know. Think about those things. Setting the boundaries for space is if she's maybe, like I said, asking for too much space, too much in this relationship, then you need to analyze this relationship and also set the boundaries for space. Meaning if she's asking for space, then you're going to go ahead and give her this space, but you're going to implement all of these things that I've told you in these video, because this is how you set the boundaries. Because what happens is when a woman says that she needs space, she wants to see that the man is going to give her space. And lastly, if it's something that she truly doesn't want and she was challenging you or testing you, she's never going to say this again because you were doing your own thing and you took space as a casual, important thing for her and you still lived your best life, right? So that's why it's so important to set the boundaries for space. And I try to tailor these videos to any type of relationship, but also want to remind you that if a woman is wanting space, the best that you can do is turn within and see what you're doing in this relationship that needs to be healed or needs to be fixed or where you can show up better. There's only two things here. Either one where you can show up better. Maybe you weren't showing up at all for her and that's why she needed space. Maybe that's why she needed space to think about if this relationship is something that she wants to move on with. Only you will know that. Or two, maybe you were too involved in the relationship and she needed space to analyze if this is something that she really wants. If this is it, then space is going to be key and mastering the space is going to be key in you, this relationship. Because you watched until the end, I have a link below in the bio and it's my free ebook. It's seven common mistakes that men make when attracting a woman. And also please feel free to comment below. I would love to hear from you what you would do if a woman tells you that she needs space. What is it that you would do? I want to hear it. And also, please feel free to comment if you've had this happen to you before. I would love to hear from you. If you liked today's video, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you later. Love ya. Bye.